okay? Paul didn't see himself as a prisoner of Nero in Rome. He saw himself as a prisoner of Christ Jesus in the Lord. Now just think about how that would change your perspective concerning some really difficult and seemingly unjust circumstances that you're experiencing. How easy could it have been for Paul to say, you know what, forget it. Every time I try to do something good, something for God, it backfires and I end up on the short end of the stick. And incidentally, I hear things like that all of the time from people who still reference things that happened to them five, 10, even 20 years ago in the church. And so as a result, they've sworn off being a part of the body. Or people say, I'm done with ministry because it's not going how I wanted it to. That, or that person offended me. Hey, you may well have a legitimate complaint that needs to be addressed. But even when we're clearly in the right and someone else is clearly in the wrong, as Paul experienced over and over and over again, that should not drive us away from the church. Paul was beaten and thrown into prison for doing exactly what God called him to do. Was that success or failure? Jeremiah spent his entire life doing what God told him to do. Not one single convert. Was Jeremiah a failure? I don't think so. Paul saw it for what it was. It was God who had allowed him to go through some really difficult circumstances to accomplish his will in Paul, yes, but also through Paul for the rest of the body. That also meant Paul remaining in community with the church through all of it so that he could receive all that he needed in order to get through those difficult circumstances. I'm telling you guys, we need that kind of perspective today. Because whatever your circumstances, it may be God trying to shape you, to teach you, to mature you, to use you to accomplish his purposes in you and through you, but that will never happen if you pull back and isolate yourself from the church. And you won't receive all that you need from God to get through those circumstances outside of the community of your brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, just a quick aside here, because I want to make sure we're clear on one thing. We've all probably heard about situations in churches, and maybe some of you have experienced it, where there has been systematic abuse in a church, either by the leadership or with the leadership's knowledge, and that, that wasn't being properly dealt with, or maybe not dealt with at all. That is evil. That shouldn't happen. And when it does happen, the people responsible should be removed from leadership and in certain situations even prosecuted, right? No one should ever expect those victims to have to stay in those churches. There is healing and a future available for every victim of abuse through Christ and, yes, even through the church. But that can happen somewhere else in a healthy and safe church environment, okay? I want to be clear about that. What we're talking about today are circumstances, sometimes very difficult and even hurtful circumstances, that we allow to drive us away from the church, from the community of believers that he's called us to, when he wants us to eagerly maintain the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace by staying and working through those circumstances. And if those circumstances happen to be outside the church by not allowing that hardship to keep us from within the church, okay?